Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to another day off. So I definitely slept in again today. I think I woke up around like 9.30, 9 o'clock or something, and I was like, no, and I cuddled up in my bed for quite a while afterwards, and then even after I like woke up, woke up, and wasn't going to sleep anymore, I still didn't move out of my bed. It is now 11.15, and I just finally got up and started moving, but I am okay with that because it was, it was needed. It was definitely needed. So, plans for the day. I have something I want to pick up at the post office, um, but that's about it. <laughs> Super exciting plans. So I think first things first, I'm gonna go make myself some lunch and then try to call on a ride to bring me to the post office because I could walk to the post office from the old house, but not so much from here. I mean, I could, but it would take a very long time. I could probably bust too, but then like, ugh, ugh. So yeah, that's the plan. And also because <laughs> I didn't realize until I was editing last night that I set my goal for five chapters. I thought it was five pages, so I was like, I read nine pages. I almost doubled my goal. Yeah, so I think I need to do some more reading. I did get three chapters. No, sorry, I got two chapters done, so, uh, so I'm going to get into that today as well. So I guess we need to stop sitting here doing nothing and start going and doing that. I honestly feel like my hair gets bigger every day. I don't know. Ah, uh, oh, look at our pretty, pretty banister. Anyway, I just finished eating lunch. My mom's on her way to grab me. I just was like panicked, like did I turn off the stove? And I did, but while I'm up here, we also kind of put together the spare room recently, aka the Pykel's room. So we have a bed there now, we moved Pykel over there. We have a dresser that can go across the base here, but it's coming along. Still got random stuff, but not bad. So I managed to convince my mom to come get me, um, <laughs> to bring me to the post office. So she just texted me, was like, mom away, and I was like, I'm not dressed, so yes, I am wearing the exact same thing I was wearing yesterday. Whatever, I left the house once. Um, so I'm just gonna finish getting ready, gotta grab a sweater and um, throw a toque on this mane and we'll go from there. <laughs> so I went and I got my mail and BAM! Girl supporting girl. <laughs> um, if you don't know, this is Adeline Morin's merch. I love the scent of it, girl supporting girls. And it was on sale for Black Friday, like super cheap, but shipping to Canada is stupid. And also the Black Friday one. <laughs> what's on sale so I got a black one and I got the yellow one and I've wanted the yellow one since they first came out because I just like I said I just love the sentiment I think it's so awesome woman empowering other women so I wanted to get it and I got it and I'm very happy with it it is super cozy especially because you know Canada but <laughs> I think I need to jump in the shower now because I've I don't know I think because I've been a little bit sick so I think I've just been overly sweating these last few days um, while I've been sleeping so I think I'm gonna jump in the shower now so that I don't get gross all over this. But I'm so excited, it's so cozy, it fits so well. Yeah! Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna go jump in the shower, then come out and get to business. I, I wanna get this done today. My grandparents aren't coming to like eight tomorrow evening. I text my grandma, so that's good, but it would also, you know, if it's not hanging over my head, I'll feel better about it. But man, that's a lot to do. <laughs> it's like 120 chapters, 120 pages to do. Ah. Anyways, okay, shower first, productive after. We can do this, we can do this. Okay, I am clean, I am showered, I am nice and cozy back in my girl supporting girls hoodie. Um, I'm ugh, My tummy hurts so, and I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or what it is, so I've got this little bag of chips, so we're gonna eat that and see if it's because I'm hungry or if it's because my tummy is just hurting. Um, I'm gonna sit down at my computer now for a little bit. I feel like I've only been at my computer the entire vlog, but I promise I've gotten up. Um, so I'm gonna sit here for a bit, putter, and then hopefully get into editing. I look like super red right now. Ooh, oh well. Anyway, yeah, let's do that. So I just realized that it's 10 to 4 and I haven't even opened the document with my book in it. I'm terrible. 
I don't know, I'm just so unmotivated. I probably should have gone out and gone to a coffee shop today. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow if I don't get all the way through. That's somehow today, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. <sighs> oh well, sometimes you just need lazy days slash lazy weeks, which is basically what I've been having lately. Mm, it's okay, it's fine. Been productive in other regards, but no. All right, so I've got through a couple chapters, which is good, but I am seriously in the point of this is the worst story that ever existed. So that's not a good place to be. I found some more grammar mistakes and just general spelling issues that I missed and Pam missed. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, no, not in a good headspace. So I'm gonna go start cooking dinner and hopefully when I come back to this later tonight, it'll be okay. In all fairness though, even though I'm like, this is terrible, I'm actually getting through it pretty quickly now, so that's good, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so dinner has been had. Slacking has recommenced. Duh. The worst, it's like eight o'clock. What have I done with my day? Nothing, like two chapters. That's what I have to show for today. So I'm sitting down now, I'm hopefully gonna focus. The problem probably is that I keep watching Survivor over here on my iPad. So we'll try this for a while and if it's not successful, I got the headphones right here. We can break out the music and um, see if that helps. I just, I've been having a hard time focusing lately. I'm not really sure why, but hopefully I'll um, get going somewhere here at some point with productivity. Ugh, worst. Alrighty, so it's been slow progress, but I've made it to, what was it like? 21% of the way through the story. It's it's agony. It really really is but that's okay I'm also coming up on one of the spots where I need to make a big change continuity issue So that's good because this is the main reason I'm going through it is to catch this But like I said before I'm also catching other issues and little things that I want to change so it's not useless It's just annoying um, But yeah, so I think I'm just a couple pages away from where I was thinking that I can make that continuity issue not an issue, um, which is awesome. I'm gonna try to get through another chapter or so tonight. So it's about 11 o'clock and then tomorrow I think I need to brave the weather because I think it's gonna be raining and go to a coffee shop where I can't get distracted by Survivor, which is right there. It's a season I've already watched, so it's not like super distracting, but it's a little bit distracting. But yes, yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit better about things. I found some grammar issues, like I said, which I'm or like missing letters, which is great because that would be embarrassing to send off. <sighs> but yeah, and then next step after this is my query letter, and I've written part of it. And I sent it to someone who hasn't read the book, and he was like, "Eh," <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, I get it. Very valuable." <laughs> perspective to have because you haven't read anything yet so that's good but it's just very stressful <laughs> so stressful anyway back at it we go <sighs> all right I made it to chapter 11 so that's about a third of the way through chapter wise and I hit 27 percent of the way through the word count page count page count um, so I think I'm doing it pretty good. I'm kind of tired now. I feel like I'm flagging, but I don't hate the story anymore so much. I don't know. It's that doubt. It's like just swings back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, this is the worst thing ever. Why did I ever think you'd be a writer? And then other times I'm like, I would read this. But I mean, I think it's just because I'm stuck editing it for so long. It's mostly just feelings of I hate this. <laughs> But that's fine. With it being just after midnight, I think we all know what that means. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure. And I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.